Shevington, Suffolk, okay, Suffolk. Shevington is a village and civil parish in the West Suffolk district of Suffolk in East Anglia, England. Located around 10 km southwest of Bury St. Edmunds, in 2005 its population was 630, reducing to 602 at the 2011 census. The parish also contains the hamlets of Broad Green and Tan Office Green. Name Shevington was probably from Siofen, a leader of a clan of the Angles called Sifongas with a meaning a place, farm or clearing belonging to him. It appeared in the Little Domesday Book as Suentunun. Two hundred years later, it was either Shevington or Shevington, and from the 14th century as Shevington. History Shevington was a part of the Saxon estate of Britulf, but was given over to the Abbey of St. Edmund after the Norman Conquest. The Abbey in Bury had been founded by the Benedictines in 1020 to shelter the remains of St. Edmund and became one of the largest in England. 1086, Little Doomsday Book, the abbot held Suentuna, a manor of six caracutes asterisk. There were thirteen Valines asterisk asterisk, six slaves, one hundred forty sheep, forty goats, and three hives of bees. There was also one soapman asterisk asterisk asterisk, who probably farmed thirty acres. Asterisk or high debt eight hundred acres, asterisk asterisk died tenants, asterisk 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 free tenant. Besides generating income for the abbey, some of the woods were used as a retreat for hunting deer and fishing for the abbot and guests. 1268, the abbot, John de Norwold, owned 460 acres of arable land in Shevington, eight acres of meadow, four acres of wood and a windmill. His valines held 322 acres of arable land, two acres of wood and three acres of pasture. The cotters held 18 acres of arable land. Adam and Robert de Seberg were free tenants, with the Pamans owning land with virtual right of occupation. Shevington was a closed parish, with movement into the village restricted until the early 19th century, and as a high proportion of the parish was owned by a single family, there were relatively few freeholders. Leading people in the village in 1844 Alan Holly Bush Green, Gent, Bridge Carpenter, Edward Wheelwright, Fenton Bricklayer and Builder, Mayhew Shopkeeper, Parker Shoemaker and Schoolmaster, Rolf Gentleman, Simkin James Beer Housekeeper, Simkin John Thatcher, White Rev John Rectory, White Mrs. Illies and Francis, with Ann J. Shopkeeper, Wright Christopher Butcher, Farmers in the Village in 1844, Adams Hill House, Argent R. Brewster Sam Coolidge Farm, Finch J. Holly Bush Green, Gossick J. Horsepool, Pool, Jennison W. Shevington Lodge, Kemp J. Shevington Hall, Kemp J. Malster, Rolf W. Corn Miller, Simkin Robert J. Garrod's Farm and Vet, Simkin Robert Hole, Truggett Broad Green, Web John Moat Farm. Historical Writings in 1870-72, John Marius Wilson's Imperial Gazetteer of England and Wales described the village as Shevington, a parish in Thingo District, Suffolk, 23-4 miles S of Saxham R. Station, and 5 SW by W of Bury St. Edmunds. It has a post office under Bury St. Edmunds. Acres 24-29. Real Property. 3,889 pounds. Mm. Population, 621. Houses, 126. The property is much subdivided. The living is a rectory in the Diocese of Ely. Value, 396 pounds. Mm. Patron, the Reverend J. White. The church is ancient. There is an endowed school, and charities, 22 pounds. Mm. In 1887, John Bartholomew also wrote an entry on Shevington in the Gazetteer of the British Isles with a much shorter description. Shevington, Parish, W. Suffolk, 5 miles SW. Of Barry St. Edmunds, 2429 acres, population 556, P.O.
Sites of interest. Church of All Saints. All Saints. A church was recorded in the Domesday, but replaced by a Norman church built in stone in about the 12th century, with parts still existing although it has been extensively altered since. In the 16th century, the bell tower was added, which was increased in height in the early 19th century, said to be so it could be seen from the new hall at Eichworth. In about 1700, the roof was lowered and shortened in length. Shevington Park Cottages There was a hunting lodge, part of which was converted into cottages. Former rectory, college farmhouse, is thought to have been the site of a college for secular priests. Some original timbers are still embedded behind the 18th century facade. Moat Farmhouse at Brooks's Corner is a grade Roman II asterisk domestic building. It is from the early 15th century, with some later alterations and extensions. It is an example of a three-cell open hall house with a late 16th century first floor and attic. It is likely that the rear wing of the house, formerly moated, was added at the same time as the first floor of the hall. Ruffin's Farmhouse, 15th century. The name has lingered since Henry Ruffin helped to survey Shevington Manor for Abbot Cratfield in the early 15th century. It is an open hall timber framed house of the Wealden type, with later extensions as late as the 17th century on the east. The Lodge, David Clarkson's Larkson's, Broad Green House, altered in the 19th century. Batley's house in Dipton Lane, later called Hole Farm, with a 17th century axial red brick chimney. It was one owned by Dr. John Batley, Archdeacon of Canterbury, occupied by the Simpkins in the 19th century. Horsepool Farmhouse, Tan Office Farmhouse, with a cross passage entry and jetted upper floor, it was rebuilt in the 16th century with two bays. The old rectory, originally moated, it was built in the 16th century, but reconstructed in the 18th. The rear is the oldest section. Shevington Hall. It is on the site of an ancient camp of which little is known. The earthworks and a fosse surrounding the hall are thought to have been constructed for defense and appear to predate the Romans. It was used as the retreat house of the abbots of St. Edmund's Abbey from the 13th century. After the dissolution, it became a manor house for Thomas Kitson of Hengrave, and then later the Gages, who became the largest land owners in the district. Margaret Birchier, Countess of Bath, widow of Thomas Kitson, may have carried out modifications to the abbot's hall, which retained its general plan, steep roof and mullioned windows, and incorporating some framing members from the hall. The current farmhouse is mid-16th century with alterations, timber framed but encased in painted brick at front and sides. It has two stories, hipped plain tiled roof with axial chimneys of red brick, 18th century mullioned, and transomed windows of four and six lights. Late 18th century six-paneled entrance door with architrave and flat canopy. Stonehouse Farmhouse. Formerly the old factory farmhouse, is situated near the original clothing factory of 1852. It is timber framed and previously thatched. It is mainly 17th century. Grazier's House of Weather Cock Hill, with its attics and axial chimney of red brick, possibly where Robert Summerton had his house in the 14th century. Hollabush Stud, site of suburbs where a Robert Gooday once lived in the early 17th century. Mill House, about 1680. Thatched, with a three-cell lobby entrance, and an interesting red brick chimney. It was where William Rolfe, the miller, lived in 1850. Shevington Grove, later Tallahoe Stud, was owned by the Whites for close on a century. The rear is a queen and fragment of about 1710, but the front appears to be later. This very beautiful house has a 19th century service, wing running at right angles on the back. Thatched cottage on Church R.D., probably from the 18th century, was inhabited for a lengthy period by the Arban family. The steep roof does not possess dormers, and there is a single prominent central chimney. The lean-to building on the west side was once used as a shop. Shumido Cottage. Timber framed from the 18th century. It hides in the valley near Shevington, way between Eichworth and Chedburg. 
Rhea Wilman's house on Weathercock Hill, is grade Roman too from the 18th century, although there is parts from the 17th century and perhaps earlier. At one time the house was divided into four or five cottages. Still thatched, the main timber-framed building has two stories with a distinguished newel staircase leading from the ground floor. Demography In the 2001 census, Shevington had a population of 603 with 248 households. Population change. 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 Location grid.